Yeah. We be on them highways. Tell them be cool, we on the byways. Bring out the word, they looking sideways. Oh, oh. God, I don't do it my way, way. Oh, I'm I'm way. Is. Talking about Tell them I'm me cool We on the way 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 We Scriptures coming out and ain't no word from him. Ah, uh, as soon as I pull out the laws, they run away. You was laughing, he gon' laugh at your collab. Right now, you gotta get out of that understanding of loving these other nations. They're not going to receive salvation, brother. No, we showed you that, right? Do you believe that? Matthew 15 and 24. I want to make sure we, we, we get it home with you. Because every time, every movement on the face of the earth that the black man has done, the Black Panther movement, the, uh, the Civil Rights Movement, uh, Black Lives Matter, and so on and so forth, we have a certain level of power and solidarity amongst our brothers. And what do we do? We invite the other nations amongst the movement, and what happens? It's over. It gets ended. You understand that? So, there you go. So he can bring that? Together and now listen, apart. hey so sis, he bring together and sis, apart. right here we showing you, we showing you who Jesus, who Jesus Christ came for, all right? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So listen, bro, I want to make sure you understand, Christ only came for Israel. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent. I am what? I am not sent. Read. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You see that? Who is Jesus Christ sent to, bro? No, no, no. You see? You all right, there you go. Good. I got it. I got you with that. Uh -huh. I'm just saying. If, if, that, if, that, if it's going to be written out here, if that's the way it's going to be laid out, we're going to have some concerns up in this country. So what? We're going to have some concerns in this world because that means that I'm saying if you ain't no Israelite, you're going to be damn afraid to hell. And so, so that's why they, you thought they were pressing us down. Right. They ain't going to try to wipe us out. I agree. Give me Acts 8 and 1. Give me Acts 8 and 1. Because guess what? Guess what you got to do, brother? You got to gird up your loins. You going to have to gird up your loins, and us as a nation of people, we're going to have to come together. We're going to have to come together. Because I'm going to show you. Read that. Acts chapter 8 and verse 1. And Saul was consenting unto his death. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church. Hey, bro, bro. Hey, hey, let me deal with him. Let me deal with him. Let me deal with him. I, I got you. Let me deal with him. Let me deal with him, bro. So, sis. We all bleed the same. That's what you're talking to me about. It's uh, not my blood. It's not my blood. We all bleed the same. That's what you're talking to me about. I know. I know. Let me, I'll, let me talk with him. Let me deal with him so we can have order. All right? So, sis. Hey, sis. Even the leaves are different. I just got a question for you. God Okay, I agree. God, everything is different. Right. We're all different. I agree. Even the leaves are different. I agree. God is not a duplicate, a duplicating God. Right. That's what makes him one. Absolutely. For sure. So, let me ask you this. How do you love God? With all my heart, mind, and soul, and strength. Right. What do you do? What you mean, right? It's not about me. It's about him. So what do you have to do to show you love God? What do you have to do to show you love him? That's what I'm asking. I don't have to do anything but serve him. Okay. How do you serve God? With all my heart. What do you it's okay? So if I'm talking to a child, if I'm talking to a child and I say, How do I serve God? What do you tell her? With all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, you uh -huh. serve the Lord. That's not giving me any instructions. That's giving you all the instructions. So I can be a whole one. Can I be a stripper and love God? I'm sorry? Can I be a drug dealer and a murderer and an adulterer? He's going to love you. All you got to do is stop doing what you're doing. He's still Hold on. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you said I had to stop something. He still loves you. Okay, but this, this is what I'm asking. What you have to Why do I have to doing? stop it? Because you have to repent from what you're doing. Repent from what? Serve him with all your heart. Right. What do I have to your repent mind. from? And your soul. What do I have to repent from, from sis? Sin that you're okay, committing. sin, good, okay. Now, what is sin? What is sin? What is sin? You said I have to stop sinning, so what is you sin? You tell me what is sin. But you, you came over here and, uh, and you I'm said... I'm okay. you, 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 you incorporated me into this Good, conversation. perfect, all right. So, so you said we do have to stop sinning, correct? 
you already know that. You're a man of God. I'm asking you, because I want to make sure I'm going to the right place. I'm regenerating that question back to you. Okay. Now I'm going to show you what sin is, okay? Bring it out. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the transgression of the law. You agree? What I agree with is that I'm no longer under the law. Oh. That I'm no longer under the law. Oh. That I'm no longer under the law. Oh. All you got to do is stop doing what you're doing. He's still Hold on. Oh, there you go. Okay, so you said I had to stop something. He still loves you. Okay, but this, this is what I'm asking. What you have to Why do I have to stop it? Because you have to repent from what you're doing. Repent from what? Serve him with all your heart. Right. What do I have to repent heart. from? And your soul. What do I have to repent from? From the sins that you're Okay. Doing. What I agree with is that I'm no longer under the law. Oh. Uh, oh. Here we go. Let's go back. Let's go back to hey, Romans 6. My wife, my wife is a rep, right? Uh-huh. Oh, but, but hold on. Oh, oh, see, now the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out. All oh, praise. I got you. I know why you. Now I know why you struggle. Right, so listen good. So listen good. All right. Hey, everybody, calm down. Calm down. Now, the sister said. Hold on, bro. The sister said that we have to stop sin. She said we have to repent from our sins. But then when I showed her what the law was, she said we're not under the law. That is the backwardness in the Christian church. That is the backwardness in the Christian church. We push a doctrine and then we run from it when it gets real. Listen good to what the Bible says. Sis. Romans chapter 6 and verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? So shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Read. God forbid. God what? God forbid. Uh-huh. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Jump down to 12. Verse 12. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. So we're going to stop there. But you see, very simple. You see, we bring up the scriptures. And they leave. But I just want y'all to understand. Right. But, but listen. But listen. You see how backward that is, right? She said you have to repent from your sins. I show her what sin is. Oh, the law is done away with. That makes no sense at all. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.